little girls, it's Tuesday, almost Wednesday, and it's raining outside. So I decided I would try and be artsy and film it in my kitchen window. The only problem is my aunt is going to be coming home any second now, and if she sees me hanging out the window, she will kill me. So, moving right along. I was sick. I've, I've been sick since Thursday. I'm still sick. And I've discovered that the only thing you can do when you're sick is you can go and read The Princess Bride. Now, I know I should be finishing Black Boy, but I just haven't been able to pick it back up again. I'm a good portion of the way through, but not enough for my liking. I just got done watching a cold case that was all about racial tension stuff, so maybe that'll spur me onto it. I, the episode was called Strange Fruit, and it had that song, Strange Fruit, which is one of the most spine-chillingly beautiful songs I've ever, ever heard, ever. Half the reason I listen to Cold Case sometimes is for the songs. Anyway, Princess Bride is a great book. I love books that make you go, that, that, they make you, make your face, you, <laughs> books that when you're reading them, your face lights up, or th your reactions are just palpable. I, my mom tells me all the time that watching me read a book is like watching TV because I can't hide any of the emotions. And Elliot one time, my friend Elliot was like, Mary Jo, I'm just watching you during silent reading time because you've read Harry Potter before, but you're just like, oh, what's going to happen next? So that's just how I roll, I guess. I get caught in the moment. That's, that's what I do. I get caught in the moment of things. Do I want to know from you guys, honestly, do I talk about books too much? I can't help it. I speak book. I want to be a librarian. But if I talk about too, books too much, I'll find another topic. It just seems to come the easiest for me because that's what I like. I can do more or less, so just tell me more or less in the comments. They're just kind of my thing. Also my thing are pointless stories. I love pointless stories. I think they're rather amazing. I tell them over and over and over, and I think this channel is kind of an opportunity for me to retell a bunch of my old pointless stories. So for those of you who've already heard them, I'm really sorry, but you're going to hear them again. Anyway, the thing that I can't stand about today's mainstream media is, are rather, are haters. I can't stand haters. I don't see why someone would go out and say, that sucks, that's horrible, this is, I don't like it for these reasons. Criticism I can understand, but for example, the Twilight Saga? I read it. They're not that bad. It's honestly not that bad. I don't understand why people obsess over it, but I also don't understand why people obsess over hating it, especially who haven't read the series. I can understand if you're a fan of the more classic vampire literature. That's great, but you don't have an opinion to talk about Twilight. You, you can't have an opinion about Twilight, I think, until you've read Twilight. You can't justify saying, oh, this sucks, until you've read it. I would rather be in a room full of tw people who like Twilight than a room full of people who don't like Twilight. Because that negativity just brings me down. And maybe that's a Californian thing. Maybe that's just a me thing. I can't stand the idea that someone would just go out and hate something for no reason. Or, or four reasons. Okay, I'll say four reasons. You can hate something for reasons, but why not just put your energy to something better spent? Like being nice. So, that kind of goes along with what Michaela said about the whole going and calling people beautiful, and I haven't done that yet because I've been sick and I've been home. Oh, I thought that was my aunt. Huh. But I'm going to, and it's going to be amazing. Because spreading happiness and joy is what I like to do. And with that, I bid you guys go.